My name is Nichelle Wash. The time that I was in Pike Township, my name was Nichelle Whitney, so you may not recognize the name. I graduated from Pike High School in 2011. My journey through the district, I was at College Park Elementary School, and since he led, I'm gonna go ahead and put him on the spot. Dr. Larry Young was not Dr. Young at the time, and he was my fifth grade teacher, okay? Um, <laughs> And I actually have a story to share about him later, so we're gonna talk about that. And then I went to Lincoln Middle School, and I told you all I graduated from Pike High School. I then went down the road to Indiana University Bloomington, and since then, I've launched my own consulting firm doing diversity, equity, and inclusion work, and I now work for the Education Advisory Board, which I'll get into a little bit of my role there. The thing that I've loved about my experience at Pike was the exposure to culture. My neighbors were from different countries, the dialects, the experiences that I got to hear in the classrooms were so diverse, which honestly, when I went down to college in Bloomington was a culture shock. Bloomington, IU Bloomington is a predominantly white institution. And so I miss the culture of Pike Township. So that's one of the greatest gifts. Um, and it actually launched me into equity work before I even knew it. There's another thing that I learned deeply about while, and you don't know these things while you're going through it, right? And then you look back and you're like, dang, like this was an amazing experience. So I learned a lot about need, not only having a need, but also how to meet people's needs. And I'm gonna talk about that when I talk about the student council um, that I served on while at Pike High School. There are some teachers that impacted me along the way that I still think about to this day. Dr. Larry Young, let me tell y'all why I remember Dr. Young. I always got on my report card, pleasure to have in class, talks too much. <laughs> I hear my dad back there laughing because he got tired of seeing that remark, okay? Um, it was Dr. Young though, honestly being the first black male educator and to this day of all the degrees that I've earned, he is only one of two black male educators that I've had, okay? But he actually told my dad, he said, she talks a lot in class, but it's a good thing. Like we want her to use her voice. That was so liberating for me. I've been, I've been holding on to that since, right? But he was the first person that said, it's good to use your voice. We don't want to silence you. We want you to speak up. And being a consultant, being an advocate for equity work, that's all I do. So I use my voice and I get paid to do it, right? So that was the first time that I got freed from feeling like using my voice was a bad thing. Dr. Deborah Daniels Calhoun, she was Mrs. Calhoun when I was in school. A couple of things, so my degrees are in science, they're in STEM, I'm a STEM nerd. I have a degree in human biology and molecular biology and she taught me that science is not only fun, but it is doable if you make it doable. So people tell you all the time that you're gonna be underrepresented as a black woman in STEM. And then I figured out that this stuff was fun and my dad would tell me things like, make your homework fun, right? I didn't know what that meant in high school, but in college, I was the fun person to study with. I'm like, we're gonna have a great time. She also helped me really think about critical thinking and problem solving, which is what I've needed my entire life as an international consultant, as a leader in, in enrollment management, as a leader for diversity, equity, and inclusion. I've constantly be having to think about how to solve a problem, um, especially with the team. Another thing that I learned from my time in her classroom was not only to reward yourself for when you win, but reward yourself for your efforts. And I'm gonna talk about this a little bit when I talk about how I've served Pike High School since I've graduated. And then creativity and innovation are key. In science, that's what it's all about. What would I say to families? One, families, please be informed about the laws and the policies and also the opportunities that exist here in Pike Township. I, what changed my life and launched me into STEM, so first I wanted to be a teacher, right? What launched me into doing research, really, was sophomore year of high school, someone came to me, I think it was Dr. Ruth Woods, and said, hey, they're doing this program downtown at the IU School of Medicine. It's gonna pay you to learn how to do research. My dad was like, this is a no brainer. Like, we're not playing these games. This is where you'll be. Prior to that, I was working as a camp counselor in the summers, right? He was like, no, we're going down to the School of Medicine. Life changing, absolutely life changing. 16 years old, getting publications, okay? Something I never imagined even being able to do. So know what the opportunities are, but also be informed about the laws and the policies. And then advocate for your students. 
So I worked in enrollment management where my job was to oversee the DEI strategy for recruitment and, and outreach. And one of the schools that I serviced was Pike High School. So I've now since left enrollment management. But I remember reviewing the applications from students here and just being like, yep, Pike has good talent. Like this feels familiar. Like this is a Pike student. And so continue, and there, but there are times where on paper, that student didn't look like they met our requirements, but those parents picked up the phone and they called us and that helped us make different decisions about admissions, okay? So parents, continue to advocate for your students.